Okay, hey guys, um, I'm back again, this time with a more, you know, well, you'll be able to hear me this time, I adjusted the volume hopefully, and we're gonna play Goblet Grotto again, but I'm gonna actually go and explain it better this time, and stuff, alright, so look, we're gonna have to start a new game again, you're gonna have to bear with me through the first part, I don't know if you'll be able to hear me due to the glyph sound, due to the toad, that wank wank noise, but once we get into the grotto, you should be able to hear me better. So I'm just going to get some goblets early on and get into the grotto as soon as possible. Goblets. Goblets. Kill. Kill. issues with this is that at first um, it doesn't ever really tell you about this and it's one of the things you have to learn on your own but since I now know about it um, you guys know about it so you can play uh, the save function as you can see the save function is really glitchy I don't recommend using it and it's one of those games you have to go into and continue on your own sometimes the save function will work but most of the time it doesn't one of the main features, let me get back to the game, one of the main features of the game is this uh, lift system. And there's a skeleton down there, let me kill it. Kill, kill, kill. Uh, and it's Goblet. your toad there, your toad adventure, looking for goblets. He's uh, talking. So uh, each symbol means a new thing. Like, there's a trap somewhere, or he hears birds. There's different, each symbol means a new thing. And the interesting thing about this is this oftentimes will um, give you hints about things that are around you or what he's feeling or, or just things in general. Um, there are several of them like when he's hungry or when there's enemies around or when he's talking that you need to figure out and understand. The game comes with a guide file um, which are HTMLs which I recommend that you use or at least read through a bit. The game also has another mechanic where, let me, let me show you uh, one of the areas where it shows up. Kill, kill. The game will ask you to turn to a paragraph in the f HTML file, but uh, you can. there's a ton of them because they're all over the game. And so once you turn to those, when you click on them on the HTML file in the, in the How to Win Goblet Grotto, um, it'll tell you something. Most of the time, it's yeah, complete yeah. ridiculousness. Yeah. It's complete ridiculousness, those files. And all they have are funny yeah, text. Yeah, Nothing yeah. really of value. Yeah. 
but if you want to read them, go ahead. They add a little bit more depth to the game, but all it is is zaniness. So, really, there's nothing that they can help you out with. Well, that I have come by so far because there's so many, I haven't really decided to read through all of them. Kill, 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 kill. This is one of the many enemies you'll see throughout the game, known as the brain, uh, the brain fucker. Uh, he's like he's a hand that eats brains or something. Don't ask me. All right, I I didn't name it, but anyways, uh, it's a really weird game. I, whoa, whoa, sorry. Uh, another thing is about the game uh, I really want to talk about is the goblet, the way the goblets show up. The goblets randomly show up in different areas and, um, each time you play. And also, if you collect enough goblets, sometimes the goblets will disappear altogether due to the limit of the amount of goblets on each stage can have at one time. So oftentimes you'll get one and they'll move around. And it's an interesting kill, mechanic. Kill me. Kill. 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 Uh, one of the things you want to learn is to be able to tap really quickly with your attack button. Kill, kill, kill uh, mainly me. because you're going to want to be kill, able to kill, you kill, know, kill, survive kill, in this game. Uh, because you really only have one life. And those hearts really don't do like that. Now I'm back to normal. Goblet. That's how that works. It's how prayer works. But goblet. goblets also goblet. uh, it boost your goblet. morale and keep you from uh, uh, you. getting all tired and stuff. Now, as you can notice already, the game is very big. This is not the full version, full not, not version, but full area in the game. This is the first grotto part in the game. There's the forest outside, but this is not the beginning. Like, this is not just the start of the game altogether. I need to eat. Yeah. Sometimes your, uh, your, uh, what is his name? Your toad will be debilitated like that, and he'll need to eat. So, there are three factors. There's the whole factor of prayer, getting goblets, and eating. So, you, uh, um, right here is a little help file, kind of, a little help pop-up. And it talks to you about the commands. Um, you can pause it with him. Sidebar, and then general tips. Uh, maintain focus at all points. Depressed adventures are vulnerable to quick snakes and heroin birds. So yeah, watch out for those guys. An interesting thing is that um, dogs will lie to you. So oftentimes they'll tell you something, but they're lying. Big blood to test the flame. Big blood is in reference to space funeral which uh, they had an item called Big Blood because everything was like undead there. This is actually a really cool game. It's made in Unity 3D. And uh, I could literally, I would see this being sold on Steam. With a, it needs some refinements, so a lot of refinements. But if, uh, I'd like to see this eventually sold maybe for like a dollar. I think it would sell all right. It's pretty, it's pretty weird. Kill. Yeah, that's why you gotta watch out where you're going. Or you'll fall down. So, um, let's go to another area. I need to find my way, I apologize. Let's see, where do we need to go? I'll keep going around in the circle. But yeah, there's, there's no real story. You just collect goblets, that's about it. Um, but yeah, it, it, the game is complex to a fair extent. I would say that, uh... I've seen stuff like there's stuff in this game that I had just discovered yesterday, and I'm playing this. I've been playing this game for about a week for a week now. It is ridiculous how much there is. This game is massive. Yeah, yeah, me. Um, the pictures I'm posting are from several days ago, but um, kill, uh, I'll kill be posting on the thread, guys. Do I need a prank? Yeah, I do. Kill. Right. Kill. 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 Even if you're just killing random NPCs, you need, you, if you need the meat, get it. Kill. Kill. Um, one of the things is that this game parodies like old adventure games, like the thing with a parrot. Kill. Kill. Uh, dang it, never mind, I killed him. Anyway,
Anyways, he was gonna tell something funny. Like, he tells you about an item, or like the box of the game you're supposed to get. Like, this game's supposed to come with a box and stuff, but it doesn't really. It's a virtual download. And, um... Uh, yeah, and all. Okay, so this is the bio cube. The bio cube is uh, where the dwarves are from. This gives the dwarves life. Uh, I don't really know how it works. These things don't look like dwarves. They more look like... They look weird. That's all I can tell you. But the dwarves are yellow. Kill, 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 this area is me. loaded with humans. This is the human kill, versus kill, the dwarf kill, area. Kill, um, kill, me. I'm going to go around here and... Kill, kill, kill. Kill, 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 kill. Me. Yeah, I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna kill some... Kill some bats. Kill some dudes for some guys for some goblets. Goblets. Kill, kill, me. Yeah, these guys will chase you to the end kill, of the area. Kill. As long as you're there. There's nothing up here other than this bridge, though. Uh, sometimes some goblets will spawn around here, but it's not important. I'm not for sure about it. Yeah, yeah, you gotta watch yeah, out for yeah, these guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Takes around two seconds or so to regain health when you're sleeping. Kill, yeah, kill, I love that area. No, not to this. Give me your meat. Give me your hook, turkey ham. Oh, I'm hungry. Okay. I need to pay attention to that more. I apologize, guys. Yeah, that's a bio dwarf. It's a dwarf that's become nothing but sludge. So this is the center of the bio cube. You'll see this a lot if you go in the first person area, as this is what the textures are. It's nothing but like a blank maze. But there are some NPCs in it. I don't like the maze part though, because you can't see what your hands or anything. There's no first person perspective. And I think um, the creator should really fix that up. This is still version 1.0, yeah, yeah. so there is a yeah, chance yeah. the creators will go in and uh, change some things, because this game is really glitchy. This is the guy who runs the bio cube. And it needs some fixing. I'm not saying it's bad, but the saving is really glitchy and needs to be Sorry. severely fixed. Though it could just be my copy and I must have screwed up with the files, but it works anyways. This is the entrance to the Dwarven Cavern. As you can see, yeah. the draw depth is pretty good actually. So the reason I haven't been covering most of these glyphs is the fact that um, they're not important. Like, you'll see like horn, crystal, bird, 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 and sometimes they just don't mean anything. Kill, kill, kill. That means you can hear birds calling. Most likely he's talking about the dactyls. Hello, goblet. I am looking for meat. Or I am looking at meat. Or I do not need meat. There's some goblets in here. Goblin. The dwarves are more obsessed with uh, crystals than anything else, really. Goblin. So uh, you won't really, you'll find more crystals around here than anything else. Now the interesting thing is you can look around and see the different rooms. Like, Goblin. there's a there's a altar up here. Let's go pray to it. There's a several altars around the game. I'm not for sure if they mean anything. Goblin. Um, Goblin. The game really doesn't have a story. Kill, but, kill, kill, I mean, kill, it's not me. a cohesive story. It's a story that you have to voluntarily uh, listen to as a player. Like, you, I forgot, you can talk to NPCs. But the thing is, is that it's not important. It, it detracts from the gameplay because it takes longer to get goblets. And um, kill, also, kill, debilitate. Kill, kill, you, you'll me. debilitate yourself because you're taking so long. So the best thing to do is if you really wanted to play and explore this game is to ignore the story. Kill, 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 now, I'm not saying that's... 
I'm not saying that's a good idea though, because I haven't really paid attention to it, and I'm sure someone out there will want to kill, listen kill, to the kill, story. Kill, 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 kill. Me, kill, kill. I'm sure someone out there would want to listen to the story because it's actually really complex later on. Uh, there's this lich that shows up and a whole bunch of things, and there's lore about everything. And yeah, these places are bigger on the out, out. I mean, bigger on the inside than they are in the outside. It's some Doctor Who crap going on. Yeah, that guy's stuck. Let's avoid him. Okay, I want to show you guys something creepy. Now, you guys know how this game looks weird already. Alright, where is it? Now, I'm going to get attacked here eventually. There's a lot of enemies around here. Oh, goblin. Goblin. Kill, kill, kill. Oh, me. A cave man down there. There's the door. It's over there. Me. Oh, do I need meat? No, I don't really need meat. Kill, kill. Oh, there's me. another goblin. Goblin. Uh, goblins come in a variety of sizes I've seen, but the number doesn't really matter. Now, this is really weird. He stares at you without any emotion. He is different from the others somehow. He's real creepy. This is real creepy. Ultra Genjin. I am a caveman. Man's distant future lies inside of caves. And caves contain many mysteries yet unseen. You may not understand what I'm saying, but it's the truth. Kill. kill. Uh, you can kill him too, which is funny. But anyways, it's implying that um, there's kill, a whole yeah. bunch of stuff in these caves that uh, you have not seen yet. Also, I know there's a glitchy, a glitchy. Do I need to eat? Yeah, I need to eat. Okay. Me. Uh, there's a glitchy kill, floor here. I'm. I don't know if he's gonna fix that. Kill, me. If the uh, calamities are gonna fix this. Me. But I think it adds charm to the game. It shows that uh, kill, kill, it's not kill, completely me. perfect. It looks kind of like a party down here, don't you think? Better get some meat. That rustle that meat. Me. Me. See that goblin just fall? Yeah, that's what happens. The stage like moves or something. Kill, well, watch kill, out for the pterodactyl. Let's go down here. If I'm correct, this leads to. Uh, yeah, I've actually never been down here, guys. So you know, you're gonna see this live, un unedited, raw footage. Here. I'm not gonna edit this or anything. It's gonna be 30 minutes. Oh, dude. All right, there's a giant kill, head. Kill. A rock head somewhere you can see in one of the pictures. These are more stone heads. Crop of mushroom heads. Oh, mushroom heads. That's so cool. It looks like um, Alone in the Dark, you know. Well, let's go in here. Ooh, goblins. 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 See, it'll tell you. Um. Kill. To look up stuff. And, uh, once again, I really want people to use this on the live stream. But the thing is, I don't use it because it's very time consuming. That right there, this. Alright, I, I need to eat. Uh, that right there leads to the first person part. Do not go in that drill. Kill, kill. Do not. Eat. That's a drill. I don't know, um. Where that leads. But yeah, don't go in the drill. It leads through there. To the crystalline place. Which is not a very friendly um, area in the game. Because it's first person and it's very shocking at first. Ancient Sterile shakes and crumbles as it descent if you as you descend it. I've never been here, V. A miserable stench of the damned emanates enticingly from this passage. So, um, yeah. Dari, friend. Where are we going, guys?
This place is red and oppressively The walls sweat. He stands with his back pressed against the wall. I am sick. Oh, this is a police area. Whoa! Kill me. I've never been here, guys. That's a dig dug guy. Why do we live like this? Kill, kill, kill. Dude! Look at all this dosh. Loads of dosh. Oh god, loves it. Loads of dosh. Dosh. Important to search the garbage for discarded money. Now I guard this pile. B guys. Now that right there is a pool. Whoa. Oh, another altar. Thank you, Goblin. Goblin, Goblin. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to discover new areas every day. There's a dog over you, don't, you, you know, you don't know who to believe in. Kill, kill. I am wretched. Kill, kill, kill. Oh, this is the area where one of the original screenshots is from. I go through the entire place. I might have. 
to the Dwarven Mine. That's actually the smallest area in the game, if it, if there isn't anything else to it. Though. Let's not go to the first person area, though. It's very... Uh, it's not that nice. There's a town over there. There's, uh, well, actually, you know, I'm gonna try something, guys. I might die, and if I do, I'll end the video, but I'm gonna fall down here and see what happens, alright, guys? Kill, 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 kill. Uh -huh. What is that? Please restart. Help. Kill, kill. Oh, 
Enjoyed it and enjoy exploring Goblin Grotto. Um, 